just got the guy in the green circle here. But it's just taken out two hurdles, three hurdles, four hurdles. <laughs> I don't think I don't think he's understood the brief. What it's just he's not even in his lane. <laughs> What is- What is- What is happening? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to 20 of the funniest moments in athletics history. Now I'm gonna level with you guys. I have been absolutely hectic. Feels like my life is at 100 miles an hour at the moment. And I've really struggled to find the time to train, to film, and then to edit the filming of the training. So in today's video, please give me any feedback that you've got in the comments below. If you like this video, I'll make some more. And if you don't, I won't. So in today's video, as I said, we're gonna be looking at some of the funniest moments in athletics history, kind of reacting to them. And you guys are gonna be able to watch them uh, along with me, um, but just, a quick shout out to the video that I'm watching. It's from a channel called Trend Wave, so please go and check them out um, if you want to watch the video in full. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this 20 funniest moments in athletics. What? What? So she's just dead fished. So she just got to the bar and just decided, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I've seen this before, so now this is a classic, uh, kind of teaching you to always run through a line at the end of the race, because look at this guy, just gets absolutely hit right at the end, he's put all the hard work in, um, I think it's a half marathon, I think it's a, I don't even know what distance that is, um, I'm not sure that class is that athletics, but um, <laughs> at least she was in an empty, empty stadium, right, so now I've seen this one as well, now, does this count as cutting the course? Because, like, yeah, she's gone further um, because she's gone round the round the track, but then she has actually cut the course because she hasn't entered through the the entrance to the steeplechase. Oh, I hope she didn't get disqualified for that. Um, if you know if she got disqualified, please let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, that is you. How are you not paying attention? Like for steeplechase, you know every lap that you've got to come and enter and and, and jump and jump that water jump. Well, that's what you've been training for, right? Um, but I guess, I guess maybe you take your mind off it for a second. So here we've got Levillainy doing his pole vault. What's that? Oh, he's been knocked in the head. Now, I know some people won't find these sorts of things funny because people do get hurt in some of these, but I don't think that's going to hurt you. It's just going to catch you off guard a little bit. Uh, uh, what? Has he just given up? Is he okay? Oh, oh. He's just face planted in the sand. That did look painful though. That, that goes, he's done a somersault, he's done a second somersault. What was that second jump about? It's like, he's trying to save it. Bro, if you're somersaulting midway through 110 meter hurdles, that's it. That's game over, you ain't saving it. Uh, uh, what was the celebration? <laughs> what was he celebrating? Grab me that specimen. Got a relay changeover. What's gonna go wrong here? She's just gonna, she gonna drop it midway through. What's got? Her shoe. How has her shoe come off? And she just got fair play to carry on though. Fair enough. Ooh. That looked painful. Okay, it's just yeeted that into the side of the net. I mean, that is a fail, but I mean, I imagine that happens quite a lot though. What he's got? What he's got? Mismatching shoes. Bro, put the matching shoes on. <laughs> That's spectacular. I want to watch that again. How has he done that? This is obviously like a pretty low-level meet because to be able to do that to the poles. <laughs> that was a hop, skid, and a jump. That one. I love that. Bro's decided, nah, I ain't coming down. I'm staying on the pole. Oh, right in the gonads. Oh, that must not tickle. What's going on here? <laughs> Waving at the camera. Couldn't, couldn't ever be me. Now, I've actually got a funny story about that sort of thing. At the Great North Run, um, I was in the Elite Wave. Not Elite in any way, shape or form, but I was in the Elite Wave um, because I got got the, the standard for, for last year. And one of the club runners who um, wasn't in the Elite Wave, um, when they get brought up to the Elite right before the start, he weaved all the way through the Elites 
and then got in between, um, I think it was Bekele and Borrega or something like that at the, at the front of the Great North Run. And then at, at, as the race starts, he's just absolutely caned it. So um, this sort of thing, I imagine it happens quite quite a lot. People kind of go into the front when they shouldn't shouldn't be. Um, but yeah, I just remember that happening at the Great North Run. I thought it was, I don't know, it's pretty obnoxious the way he kind of elbowed me out of the way, but we'll have to fight another day, am I right? Oh, he's hitting the dab. <laughs> Bro, bro's living back in 2015. Oh no, he celebrated and it just came off. Poor guy. Oh, that looked painful. I really hope she's okay after that. Right, it's, it's lucky that she's taken out that second hurt, like the, the hurdle in the lane next to her after her fellow competitor has already gone through. Otherwise, that could have caused even more chaos. She's been lucky and her competitor's been pretty lucky there. Um, that's so painful. I hope, she's, well, I hope she's all right after that. Yay, field events. Uh, you fall backwards. I didn't see that. Jimmy G, things we love to see. He's got the French flag. Now this is obviously quite an old one. He's gonna, oh, oh, done like a football celebration then just, just yeeted himself on the floor. Um, if anyone hasn't seen um, the video of Jimmy G, so he, he's known for his celebrations at the end. Um, most recent one I think is probably the grabbing the, the baguette or the bread um, from someone at the end of the race. That's pretty funny. If you haven't seen it, um, definitely give it a little YouTube search. I'm pretty sure those sorts of things you can get disqualified for, but it, I don't think he has been yet, which is which is good for the sport. Don't be disqualifying people for eating bread midway through the race. Um, it's only going to hinder their race, right? When it's like 10k, you don't need it. It's not, gonna, it's not like you're filling your glycogen stores up. That's not safe. Just yeeted the bloody shopper outside the net. Good job no one's taking part on that track. So far, what could you do in a third attempt? No. American athlete. She bailed. Fair enough. Then out of ten execution on the uh, on the somersault though. Can you say bolt? Oh, he's just absolutely clattered. One of the flower girls. I mean, they are in an awful position for 100 meter sprinters coming through. <laughs> now this I've seen before. This this guy, bless him, he does like 300 meters at like Diamond League 5K pace, <laughs> and no one tells him. <laughs> Poor guy. Can you imagine already having ran pretty much a lap? And then you've got to go and start the race again, and, and no one else has, has done that lap. Oh, guys, I, I probably would have just dipped. I would have been like, no, you know what, we're sacking this, we're sacking this off. Mm, fair enough, man's just Superman that. He, I think he must have forgotten what he was doing midway through. Oh my lord! So what's that again? Is that like NCAAs or something? It's an Invitational, Men's 1500. I don't know any of the guys in that race. And the, the officials just got absolutely clattered, the poor guy. How can you be that obnoxious? Like, he hasn't got headphones in. He's just chilling. Oh. There's a wildcat. There's a bloody kitten on the track. What is he doing? How's, how does that even happen? Like with the um, the stop oil um, kind of protesters at Stockholm the other day, you can, I mean, you can see how that happens because they're, they're human beings. But how would someone manage to get a cat into the stadium and then the cat's just decided, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna run in front of the only eight men in, in the stadium that are moving fast enough to kill me. <laughs> America's mad, honestly. <laughs> Oh, bloke. So it was unsuspected. He was just there chilling, officiating his, his bloody event. 
came out straight into the gonads with the, uh, I don't even know what that is, is that a hammer? Or a discus? I don't know that. It's a discus, I think. I don't really know if I've run events that well. Yeah, see the pole vault, I don't like the pole vault ones because they actually look like they can cause damage. Back to a running one. Steeple chases are. Is, steeple chases where all the funny things happen, honestly. Like, I, something happens. Something funny happens every single race. They, they always misjudge the jumps. What score did he get for that? One Mia? Bro's bothered waving his. That is something that needs changing in the sport, man. When the, the officials raise their flags for like the most obvious cause, it's like, yeah. I know, I disqualified myself. <laughs> that happens quite a lot actually. When I went to the, the Commonwealth Games, saw that like just the blatant obvious like flagging of like pointless things. But like, oh so dumb. Race how are you how are you slipping over during a race walk? Can't be that go can't be going that quick. The cameraman's quicker than the field. See this happens quite a lot, even in like some of the elite, there's quite a lot of memes about um about this happening before, it was, I think it's quite a big event actually. Triathlon. Oh, oh, we stacked it. Oh, and it's got back up. <laughs> I told you, steeplechase is where it's at. This video should just be pure steeplechase. Steeplechase is honestly goaded for epic fails, funny fails. Why is she just smacking herself in the face then? What's that for? How's that helping? I get the. I get the whole. Smacking yourself in the legs, but how does that help? It's just gonna, it's just annoying. Bro, it's gone straight into the camera crew. This is happening a lot in the. In, this is happening more in like field events, field events and steeplechase. There's no like mainstream. Oh, here we go. Just as I say that, uh, everyone's going down here. Everyone's going down. Yeah. See ya. What has happened there? How has that happened? Tripped on himself. Steeple chase again. I'm no poor guy. <laughs> you can see from the clock they're only like a lap in. <laughs> oh, it's head by the barrier. It's got the guy in the green circle here. But it's just taken out two hurdles, three hurdles, four. <laughs> I don't think I don't think he's understood the brief. Uh, and he's he's come back to bite him. Karma's got him. What? It's just, he's not even in his lane. What is. What is. What is happening? I thought that was just going to be the start of the video that was funny. That just got so much better as the video went on. What? Guy hit self destruct mode. He was. Right, I get it. Maybe, maybe you're not having a great race for yourself. He's certainly to be ruining the other guy's races. He could have been on for a PB. <laughs> That's the best clip. That's the best clip so far. This will get replayed and replayed. I'm pretty sure. Oh, she lost her wig. Oh yeah, lost the wig. That happened um, at a Diamond League recently. Um, I think it was a. I think it was the Diamond League. Is it Sharika Jackson or um, one of the um, American uh, female sprinters, 100 meter sprinters? I think she lost a wig at the USA track and field um, tryouts last weekend. I can't remember. Yeah, so this guy is the pacer and he just goes off like a nutcase um, and then he does get caught in the end, but he tries to win. I think in this, in this situation, you should get disqualified. As a competitor, you're not expecting to have to race the pacer, so if the pacer does get up, like gap you by 30, 40 meters, like he does in this case, it's no stress, right? I know they, they ended up beating him, beating him anyway, but he should have been disqualified and not been allowed to pace again, um, in my opinion. Because you can't just be like deciding midway through that actually, you know what? I could actually win this. Like if you're good enough to be in the race, like why aren't you racing me? It's, it's, it's only my opinion, but yeah, should be disqualified. I mean, fair play to him for giving it a go, um, but. I think Diamond League would be on your back uh, these days if you if you gave that a go. And that's the last video. The, the <laughs> my favourite video is definitely the um, Asian hurdling. That was the best video by far. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this reaction to the funniest moments in athletics. Some of them weren't actually that funny, and I really hope no one was harmed in the making of this video. 
but this certainly won't harm to the making of this video, but not in that video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please drop down in the comments. Um, I'm happy to make more. There's not too much kind of like fail compilations of uh, of athletics and running, but I can definitely do some do some digging and make my own as well. Um, and if you didn't like it, drop it down in the comments because I don't want to keep making content that you guys don't like. As I said, it was, it was just a fairly easy piece of content for me to make that I enjoy doing. I watch this sort of stuff in my in my spare time anyway, and hopefully you guys would enjoy me potentially reacting to it. Maybe it's not something you've seen before. And during my busy uni schedule for the next four weeks, um, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to come up with new and easier ways to make some content until I can make the, the bigger and better content um, in the second half of summer. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share with your running buddies, and uh, yeah, love the pain. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.